Well, hello everyone. Sorry it took me so long to get back with you guys on a new video, but I have someone I would like to introduce. Hi! I'm Zoe. That's right, everyone. I have an original character. Her name is Zoe Alora, and she is the topic of this week's video. I have been dying to make a paper doll all summer. It started out with a couple original concepts in my sketchbook and then it blew out of proportion into this tin outfit paper doll fashionable extravaganza. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with all of you. First off, let's get to know Zoe just a little bit more. I figured I should give her a backstory since I put so much thought into her entire existence. So like I said, her name is Zoe Alora. She is 22 and she loves fashion, books, art. Her favorite color is obviously purple, but she does like blue and pink. Also, she has a flair for wearing costumes and no, it does not matter what time of year it is. She wears what she feels and that's what makes her amazing. She doesn't care. She's comfortable in her skin and her clothes and she has confidence. And that's what we all kind of strive for, isn't it? I mean, I would hope so. I know that's what I strive for. Now it's time to talk about all the different outfits I made her. Let's start off with outfit number one. It is a sundress, pink with flowers on it. And also with each outfit comes a hairstyle that goes with it and shoes included. Outfit number two is a mermaid inspired evening look. Outfit number three is more like space themed loungewear or pajamas. Outfit number four is kind of like a cozy overall outfit. I like to think of outfit number five as a dress that you go for a night on the town with. Maybe like a party dress. Outfit number six is a Mushroom Girl costume outfit. Outfit number seven is an adorable spooky witch. Outfit number eight is a cloud pajama two-piece. Outfit number nine 
Outfit number nine is a fairy girl costume. I would say number 10 is just more loungewear and as an Easter egg she's wearing artwork that I created on her shirt also as a side note if I do sound a little sick and gross this project was definitely a labor of love but it did take about a good four weeks to complete so my voice is being recorded in many different stages I had to continue to record in order to get this video out and so I might sound a little weird, and I, I just wanted to point that out. Now that all the outfits are completed, I had to put them somewhere, and I couldn't just stop at outfits, so I also made her a wardrobe that doubles as a folder. That's right, she's not just a digital concept, she's an actual paper doll. I printed out everything, laminated her for stability, and I cut out all the pieces and laid them out so you guys could see them one by one. And now everything she owns has a cute little wardrobe to go into. Also, as a side note for the wardrobe, there are actual pieces of sticker paper on there. Like uh, the mirror is sticker paper and it has a holographic sticker coating, I guess you could say, so that the mirror is actually reflective and shiny. The hangers are stickers. There's stickers actually on the wardrobe, so it looks like she just sticker bombed her wardrobe. And there's necklaces that are stickers. I just kind of had a little too much fun. I guess I wanted it to look more lived in and homey because, you know, if you've had a wardrobe for many years, if you're anything like me, you probably have sticker bombed it, drawn on it. Well, as an artist, I have. So I can't speak for everyone, but I have. Oh, yeah. Also, I added a clear laminating sheet towards the back of the wardrobe for more stability. And also in case I wanted to stick other clothes behind it. So that way everything wasn't just kind of stuffed into the pouch where the drawers are. But that way it's kind of more organized. Also, I'm thinking that in the future, if you guys really like this episode, I might go ahead and expand the world so that way it's not just a wardrobe. I'm thinking about doing an entire like apartment or room with other furniture pieces and sticking it on like a poster board so that way she has an entire room to herself. But let me know in the comment section if it's something that you guys are interested in. Also, sometime in the future, maybe I'll make her a friend and do another paper doll because I really enjoyed doing this. It was so much fun. Couldn't even put the costumes down. I just kept making more and more. But maybe somewhere in the future, I will make another one. But let's just take one character at a time right now. Well, that is the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed getting to know Zoe the Paper Doll. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Every little bit helps, and I deeply appreciate all the support. 
hopefully the next video won't take as long i'm sorry everyone it was definitely a lot of pieces that went into this video and i just wanted to get everything right and cover all my bases i know future projects include uh, a coloring book i've been talking about that for a while now and i haven't forgotten but i did have other things i did want to cover or if you guys want to see an expansion of this world please let me know in the comment section but until then i will see you all in the next video whenever that may be and i hope you are all doing fantastic and i love you all bye